continue this conversation shortly. It's 31 years after the annulment of the June 12, 1993 presidential election, and some heroes of the struggle have maintained that the agitation, no doubt, is worth it. Senior reporter Ola Wakon caught up with the Minister of Solid Minerals, Dele Alake, and Special Advisor to the President on Information and Strategy, Bio Onanuga, in this special report. Nigeria on the march again. On the march again. Looking for Mr. President. On the march again. MKO is our man. The name MKO Abiola and the date June 12 have become like Siamese twins that cannot be separated. Nigeria has experienced seven elections in succession since return of civil rule in 1999. In elections designed to end 50 but the election which was won by MKO Abiola of the Social Democratic Party has been described as the freest, fairest and most credible. As Nigerians we are waiting to hear the announcement of the name of the winner of the election who promised hope for the people. The nationwide broadcast by the then head of state, General Ibrahim Babangida, on the 24th of June changed the narrative from expectations to agitations. The people's choice, Mashoud Abiola, was generally seen to be free, fair, and peaceful. However, there was, in fact, a huge array of electoral malpractices virtually in all the states of the Federation. The annulment sparked a chain of events that began with uprisings in Lagos and across Nigeria. Tension heightened as civil society groups, journalists, students, freedom fighters occupied the streets to call for justice. Many lives were lost, infrastructure destroyed, and the people did not back down. MKO Abiola was later imprisoned by the Abacha military regime as he struggled to actualize his mandate and he died in detention in 1998. On the 6th of June 2018, President Muhammadu Buhari posthumously conferred MKO with the nation's highest honor of the Grand Commander of the Federal Republic, GCFR. Yeah, there are some 31 years later, some of the heroes of the June 12 agitation shared their experiences. Mr. Dele Alake, who is now the Minister of Solid Minerals, and Mr. Bayo Nonuga, who is currently the Special Advisor to President Bola Tinubu, narrate their experiences. By the time the elections came on June 12, it was Everybody else in Nigeria who was conscious, who was aware, who was politically sagacious knew that MK was going to win that election. The only people that couldn't believe or did not envisage that he would win were the military top brass. And not all of them, the ultra conservative wing of the military top brass didn't believe it. So when he won very convincingly, and I maintain it till tomorrow, that was the freest and the fairest, the most transparent elections that Nigeria has ever had. Of the results, Abela clearly won that election. And as journalists, we were aggrieved, just like the members of the civil society, the politicians, the the, the activists and so on, that but people could not understand why would you annul a free and fair election. The temperature was high, the atmosphere was charged. The whole country actually was on edge. Everybody wanted the military to quit the scene. You can't just sit down somewhere and say, you have cancelled the will of the people. It's, it's only resulting, insulting to the people, for, for the people who had made their free, free choice known by their ballots. They both admit that the struggle was worth it, given the fact that one of the frontline agitators is now piloting the affairs of the country with the mantra of renewing the hope of Nigerians. The ticket that won 1993 could replicate it, could win it again. And it happened. Which means that uh, those who did the annulment, they did it 
they just they wasted their time. What they say could not happen in 1993, happened in 2023. So history uh, positively repeated itself. It is both symbolic for us that a leader or one of the leaders of that struggle for democracy is piloting the affairs of the Nigerian state today. So I am convinced that he can't do anything else other than erecting enduring structures, democratic structures, economic structures, social re-engineering pillars for the betterment of Nigeria tomorrow. Mr. Alake and Mr. Ononuga want Nigerians to always imbibe the spirit of fighting for justice in the interest of the nation. MKO Abiola GCFR, the president that never ruled, may be long gone, but his ideals will continue to resonate with Nigerians in the annals of history through the June 12 Democracy Day as a man who truly wanted to give hope to Nigerians. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Abuja.